The next thing that we're going to do is edit our footer. It's pretty much the same way uh, that we edit our header. So what we can do is just minimize this. And the footer is like your feet at the bottom of the website right here. OK, so we can go ahead and press customize. And we've already added this custom menu to the footer. So that was kind of like, you know, editing the footer in a way. And again, we did that by clicking on menus and adding a, a menu to the footer location. All right, so let's go to footer options and let's go to footer color. And the background, again, we can change to any color we want, kind of like disco or something, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna change it to F1, F1, F1. And again, that's like a light gray, but now we can't see anything. So we need to change our footer text color. So we're gonna change that all to 7C, 7C, 7C. And this is just the hex code again, it's just the code of the color and maybe we'll copy this and we'll do that for the rest of these paste enter and paste and enter all right so and then the the hovered color link maybe we'll do it a little darker so maybe we'll do it like a five eight seven six five five b five b five b and when you hover over it it will turn a little bit darker so that's kind of cool all right so we can go back and now we can change things like the footer size do we want it to be really big or really small or just right in the middle and do we want it to go all the way across or have a little spacing in between so that's this right here and we're going to make it, you know, have a little spacing. So that's fine. And then do we want your logo to be in there? We can check it off and then the logo can go right in there. Oh, that's a different logo. Sorry. Um, so if you want a different logo to go in here, you can select an image. Maybe we want, you know, a different color logo, but we're not going to do that. If we go to footer, footer content, we can put a, our logo that we have right there up in here and that's pretty cool and um, later we're going to be adding social icons but that's a little bit later and that is pretty much all we have for our uh, footer and I'm not going to put the logo in right now because we're going to be putting our social icons in later so we can save and publish and exit out of there and we are done with our footer and that was pretty darn easy we can complete this lesson and we can watch it. Now we're 56% done.